to just We had a private dance party on the top floor of the Metropolitan overlooking the Freddie Sue Bridge in downtown as the sun was setting. It was great. I feel like a lot of ideas coming to fruition are as simple as having space to manifest the ideas in. So, in my mind, you have access to a space that's as good as the idea being done. On February 17th, 2018, we gathered a group of artists at the top of the Metropolitan Building in downtown Rochester, New York. This creative retreat lasted from about nine to five, and there was time for artists to work collaboratively or alone, and there were creative exercises and improv warm-ups for people to get to know each other. Ugly Duck provided the coffee, Orange Glory provided lunch, and Galena Development provided the space. It was really hard to trace the origin of this idea because I think it was planted a long time ago. I mean, the purpose of this thing from the beginning was to sort of shrink the city by allowing artists who are in our network or, you know, just outside to get to know each other. And also to expand this city by giving a new perspective. From the 26th floor of the Metropolitan in downtown Rochester, you can see far and wide. Part of this is about being in the city and establishing a community within the city that can have an impact on what's happening here, what's gonna be happening here in the future. This has been one of the best days of my entire life, for real. Really? Yeah, really. Not only the most creative thing I could think of for using this space, the thing that happened today was definitely once in a lifetime, once in a city, but also in my personal life. Sometimes just working in a solitary studio space, I just kind of get stuck in my own little world and I forget to invite people in, <laughs> you know? I mean, the fact that another artist was like laying on the floor, doodling, you know, an improv person is telling us about his life experience and I'm just sitting here like sewing. It was sort of this like energy, these different perspectives, but we shared a lot of like common thoughts about just existing as creative people. There are, are a lot of cities kind of like Rochester. This post-industrial vibe, this stock of old buildings and interesting spaces that we could fill with a group of people for a day uh, with no intention other than to get to know each other to think deeply about the work that we do and how it may impact others, and to just get into a flow. It was a full day. It was a memorable day. It was something that I want to do again. It's easy to take art making for granted when you're just in your own house or studio or whatever you have. It's really hard to take it for granted when you're like 260 feet up and you know, the sun is setting and you're pooped from all the creative stuff you've done all day. So it's just a pretty transformative experience, I think.
Hey, this is Alex again. Just cutting in here at the end to say that we definitely want to do this thing again because it was awesome. So we're looking for more inspiring spaces and artists who are interested in this kind of thing. So if you got any ideas, shoot me a message. Alex at floatinghomefilms.com.